everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a Makeup Monday video. So today's video is my three of a kind project and this is my update for June, I think. Um, <laughs> we are in June so it must be June's update. So I have all my products in this little um, basket here. So let's start off We'll start off with the eyeshadow palettes first. So I created this eye look using my Revolution Rainbow Palette. So I knew that this was going to be one of those palettes that I was going to enjoy playing with and I was absolutely right because I absolutely loved it. Uh, so I've used this colour and this colour, no, this colour and this colour in the crease, then I used this colour all over the lid and then I put this colour just in the middle of my eyelid. Uh, normally I go like full shimmer on the eyelid but this time I thought you know what I really want to play with those mattes and then just put a little bit of shimmer in there. Uh, so yeah, I absolutely love this palette. I was going to play with the greens, but because I had another palette in this collection that had a lot of greens in it, I thought I will stay away from those and play with something different. So I went for this beautiful purple and blue and pink look, which I really, really love. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this palette, can't wait to play again with it. I think this is going to be a perfect kind of palette for me to do like a palette bingo with in the future or something. Yes, absolutely loved playing with that. Talking of the green palette that I used, it was my I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers palette. This was in the shade Lucky. So here are all the colours. Just dim that a bit. So there are all the colours and I did put um, all my looks that I made with these palettes, I put them up on my Instagram so if you are not already following me on Instagram I will put my Instagram link for you down below. Um, so yeah I created a look using some of these colours. I really liked it actually, I thought that the greens were really, I have hazel eyes so I find that using green eyeshadows brings out the, that green part of my eye. So yeah, I really, I love this palette. It's such a cute, adorable little palette. Moving on to the next palette I used, I used my I Heart Revolution uh, One True Love palette and I made a beautiful pinky look with this one. I'm going to get my trusted little spatula because I'm not going to break a nail for these. So these were the colours in here. So again, I made a beautiful like pinky kind of look, um, which was really, really pretty. Um, obviously, when I'm doing these eye looks, I'm not using every single colour, but I definitely got a good feel for this palette. The payoff from the shimmers was beautiful. I really, really like that. Um, so yeah, I got my look out of that. Again, all my looks are on my Instagram. We had more palettes this month than we've ever had previously, so bear with. Um, my next palette was my chocolate Easter egg from uh, Revolution, and this one looks like this, and then it also has these highlighters here, but I use them as eyeshadows because there's no way I could get away with that as a highlighter. Um, the look I created with this palette was so simple and so stunning and so beautiful. I feel... When I do a brown and gold eye look, I don't know why, but I always feel like an Egyptian goddess. And who doesn't want to feel like an Egyptian goddess? I don't know. But um, yeah, I absolutely loved the look that I created with this. I think this would make a good little travel palette as well, because obviously you've got the nice browns for like a daytime look, and then you could snazz it up by adding that beautiful gold um, for an evening look and just snazz it right up. Um, so yeah, I think this would be a perfect little, I mean, who wouldn't like want to travel with this? Just slip it in your handbag. Not going to take up much room, is it? So uh, yeah, I thought it was brilliant. I loved it. 
And then the last palette that I played with this month was my Soph X Extra Spice palette. And I actually did a brown look with this one as well. Um, again, looks on my Instagram. So I kind of stuck to sort of this corner here of colours. Um, when I have played with this palette before, I stuck to this sort of end with the yellows and the oranges. Um, but this time I stuck to this end where it's more browns and coppers and it was absolutely stunning. I really liked the look that I made out of this one. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very happy with this palette. So I am keeping all of the palettes that I played with this month. I think they're all amazing. I think I have been excited to play with all of them as well. They all prepared well. They're all revolution, I've just noticed. Um, but that just goes to show, revolution makeup, it is good makeup. I hate it when people hate on them, but you know, people hate what they hate. Um, but yeah, so um, keeping all of those palettes. Let's move on to my nails and I'm wearing one of them today. It is my Avon True Colour um, nail polish in lemon. So that is this colour on my nails. Now I will say that I had to do three coats. Um, I am obviously a woman now in my 40s. Um, I'm 40 years old um, and I have ridges on my nails, which I'm led to believe is something that older people tend to get. So instead of my nails being quite smooth and round, I get little ridges. I think it's more visible on this nail. I don't know if you can see that. My camera's crap. Um, but it means that some nail polishes kind of don't always cover the ridges very well and they get a bit patchy around that area. Um, and this was one of them. So I had to do three coats. But I am still going to keep it. I know I've said plenty of times before I don't have time to do three coats of nail polish. But I don't have many yellows in my collection. And I'm... If I remember rightly as well, yellows are kind of hard to formulate in makeup and nail polish. Um, it's a very hard colour to create um, cosmetically. So the consistency and um, the coverage of yellows um, are not always the best. So you've got to keep give them that little bit of extra leeway. Um, so I'm going to kind of forgive it because I do really like the colour and, you know, suits my top. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm letting it off. But uh, yeah, three coats. But I don't mind because the brush is quite thick as well. So it's it doesn't take too long for me to do my nails. Another one that I think ne kind of needs three coats. Now, when I wore it, I didn't put three coats on. I only put two coats on and I wasn't very much impressed. But I am going to keep it and I'm going to try it again in the future with three coats and see if it works better. And that's my Jessica in Boho Babes. Um, again, it's kind of like an orangey, peachy kind of colour. Um, and I don't have very many of this type of colour in my collection either. This is a bit of a, a rare colour in my collection. Um, so it wasn't the greatest coverage or consistency. And the brush in this is really, really thin. Um, if I show you here, it's a really, really thin brush. So... It was painful to apply, but I am going to keep it because, like I say, it's a rare colour in my collection. I don't have very many oranges or peaches like this. Um, and also, it does need three coats, but similar to the yellow, I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of leeway because I know these colours are hard to formulate and... 
I don't have many of these colours in my collection so it's kind of forgiven but I know that when I do want to wear it I'm gonna have to give it plenty of time so I can't be wearing it if I'm going out in a rush or anything like that. The next colour, um, well one of the first ones I actually wore was my Essence Gel Polish in Dream On. This was a cream colour. This seemed really weird on my nails. I wouldn't wear this on its own, put it that way. This is just like whitewashing your nails with a, a hint of creaminess on them. And it kind of made my nails look a little bit weird. But I am going to keep this one because I think this would be brilliant for wearing underneath my Barry M Under the Sea collection. Because I think that... Um, because they're more of a colour changing kind of nail polish if you put them under a cream or a white they're one colour and if you put them under a black or a dark colour then they become a different colour and I think this is one of those nail polishes that I could use with my Barry M under the sea polishes so I am going to keep it for that reason and that reason alone um, but on its own I would never really wear it again on its own so yeah just be aware <laughs> and my last polish I'm in two minds like <sighs> I'm talking about my Orly nail polish in Hawaiian punch the consistency of this is great the brush great the formula great the coverage great the color It's really bright fuchsia pink on my nails and even after just painting three of my nails I was already thinking I don't like this colour. I, I might wear this in my clothing, I might even wear this on my eyes or my lips, maybe not my lips, I wouldn't wear bright pink lipstick, that's just I'm wearing a dark pink today. But um, on my nails I'm a little bit more fussy. I'm not sure about this colour so I don't know whether I want to unhaul it or not. If any of my UK subscribers and I'm sorry for my uh, international subscribers but due to UK posting laws I cannot post uh, nail polish outside of the UK um, we're just not allowed it's against the law um, but if any of my UK subscribers are looking at this polish or have seen this polish on my Instagram um, then and you're thinking wow that colour is beautiful I would love that drop me a message and I'll send it to you um, because it's just I <sighs> It's not my favourite colour. It's beautiful, it's a great formula, but it's just not a colour I know I'm going to reach for very often because I don't like it. It's a shame, but I have plenty more Orly's that are more my kind of colour, so it's not like, you know, I'm getting rid of my only Orly. I have a few, so it's not a problem. Uh, so that's a possible unhaul. Uh, moving on to lipsticks. Um, the first one I tried was my Colourpop, I think this is a satin lip, in November. I really like this. It was very liquidy. I felt like if I tipped it up, if I took the lid off and I tipped it up, I felt like it would pour out. Um, it was very, very liquidy. But the colour on it and the um, texture of it, once it had, well, it had kind of dried down. Not wholly, but sort of dry down um, but it wasn't too drying on my lips so I really liked that and the colour lasted quite a while on my lips as well it lasted while I drank and ate so that was quite good um, so yeah the thing with this though is that um, it's more pink than mauve which is the colour that I generally go for and so the eye looks that I can wear this with have to be pink so I wore this with this palette because the colours really matched but I wouldn't have been able to wear this, I might have got away with it today um, but yeah so I kind of have to pick and choose my time when I can wear this one but I do like it so it is staying. 
The next one, I knew I loved it because I have used this multiple times previously and that is my Colourpop Lippy Sticks in Lumiere. I absolutely love this one. Um, it is one of my favourite colours of all time. Um, absolutely love it. So it is staying in my collection. And I am going to declutter one and it is this one. It is my Lip Sync Lip Trippin Iridescent Lip Strobe in Busy Unicorning. Now I kind of got a bit of it on today on my lips. It's this colour here. But the problem is, is that on its own it looks like I've been eating fairy dust. I don't want that look. No, I don't want that look on my face. So I kind of try to use it as a topper. But like today, I put on a deep lipstick that I have in my 13 by Halloween project pan. And then I go to apply it over the top. It just rubs it off completely. So what I had to end up doing was taking my finger, rubbing it onto the top of the thing and then patting it on. <sighs> Who's got time for that people like I just I it's an unnecessary step unless I'm going to a party or it's Christmas time or something special where I want sparkly lips when would I ever really want to wear this not very often so I think I'm gonna declutter it because I would rather have just a matte lip or have a, a shiny kind of satin lip or something like that. I don't need, I don't need that. I don't need that on my lips. It's just, I'm, I'm too old. I'm too old for glittery lips. So I am going to declutter that one. So out of all of those products I had for uh, the month of May um, or June, May, June. Um, I had one, two, three, four, five eyeshadow palettes. I'm keeping all of those. I had four um, nail polishes and I'm hopefully going to declutter one of those. Um, but I will keep it if no one's interested. And out of three lipstick items, I'm decluttering one. So I'm keeping the most of what I um, tried and decluttering two one definitely, two possibly. So I'm happy with that. I am happy. So let's go on to pick our next three items from each category um, next. So I have my trusted lipstick box here and I actually purchased a new lipstick this month um, which is the L'Oreal Color Riche Ultra Matte in No Doubts. So it's like a, a nudie colour. So I don't know. I might pick it out. I don't know. But let's have a feel. Oh, I got, I got a sample. Okay. We'll pick all three out first and then I'll go through them. There's another one. And there's another one. Okay. So the first one I picked out was an Urban Decay Vice lipstick sample. And this one is in the shade Black Male. Oh, it's a very, very dark colour. Oh, that's going to be interesting. So obviously, if I try this just once, I'm going to have an open packet. So... Um, I'm going to try and use this up as much as possible. It may impact my project pans for the next month in the lipstick categories. But um, I don't want to open this sample and then just use it once and then um, have it left open for ages and ages. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and use up as much of this as possible. The next one I pulled I think was the lippy sticks and this is another Colourpop lippy stick in Little Tings. This is another one that I really really like. Um, I like it so much. Look, it's that's how far down it's gone. Like you can barely see that in there. Um, 
so yeah i have used quite a lot of this um so that is how much i have left um so i obviously really like this one because i've used so much of this previously um so let me give you a swatch oh this is kind of a a really pinky kind of lip as well so there it is so yeah i think this was in a project pan previously so that's why it's gone down as much as it has so i do know i really like that one but we're still going through it and then the next one i picked out was this milani in uh loved i think it's called this is more like a a brick red kind of color or a bit more of a bricky kind of color so that is that one so that is that so yeah i will be using those three items then to pick the colors of the nail polishes i'm going to choose i have my trusted whirly gig here so my whirly gig there so let's turn up the sound as always and okay so we have a cream or a white again Ugh. and the next spin a cream or a white again i'm going to roll again because i'm not going to have two cream or whites so we went three different colors okay so a blue so cream white or a blue a cream or a white and a blue third color and a brown or a bronze okay so let me go and pick out those three colors we have a cream or a white a blue and a brown or a bronze so let me go and collect those and i'll be back with you in a minute so i have picked out my nail polishes so the cream or white one I've picked an Essence Out of Space Stories polish. So it is this one and this is the colour. So this is kind of like a white that has a slight pink tone to it and has a bit of a bluey green flash to it. It's really, really pretty. Um, and this one is number one, Outer Space is the place. That's what it's called. Um, Essence released these about two years ago now. Um, they have added a couple to the range, but I think they've now completed that. I think there's, um, I think there's eight in the range. Um, so yes, I really like these, um, but I don't remember, um, like playing with this one for a long long time so i went to have another look at it um and as i say this one is getting quite old now i've had it for a couple of years so i want to see how the consistency is now in that one and the blue i picked was one from a uh, primark collection that i picked up so this is a ps nail polish and what name are you it doesn't seem to have a name but it kind of came in a collection with um i think there was four other colors so it's like a set of five i think so yeah it's a beautiful looks like a beautiful like mermaidy kind of blue which is why i kind of picked it up um i think that it was a mermaid collection of colors um so they're all very mermaidy under the sea kind of vibes colors so yeah i'm gonna have a play with that one and then for the brown or bronze, I picked one of my Rimmel uh, uh, Salon Pro um, polishes. And this one must have been Kate on there. Um, I don't know which Kate, but give it a good shake. Um, but it's a kind of like bronzy sort of colour. And yeah, like a greeny bronze. So I'm kind of interested in trying that one out. I don't think I've ever worn this. So this is a good chance for me to see what the texture is like, what the um, application is like, and what the colour is like on my nails. So that should be very interesting. 
Okay, so the three palettes that I have chosen to try for the next month. The first one is a sleek palette and this is the Vintage Romance one. I think I had this in a project pan not so long ago and um, I was attempting to hit pan on this shade here, which as you can see, I failed. Um, <laughs> but I thought with these dark colours, it would go really nice with that dark um, lipstick sample that I have. So with this dark lip and these dark eyes. So yeah, I'm going to use that palette. The next palette I chose, I kind of wanted to go a bit simpler. I've had a lot of very bold eye looks recently, obviously using all of those palettes. Um, so I kind of wanted to do something a bit more simple, a bit more daytime appropriate. This one is the Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade palette. It is a dupe for another palette that um, a lot of people had a lot of drama with. Uh, the person who owned that palette. Um, so I don't know if people are going to hate on this one, but I like it. It's a good daytime palette for me. It's all mattes. Um, you have uh, warm tones. You have you have warm tones, cool tones, and then I think these more are more like neutral tones. Um, so yeah, a very simple, plain, basic eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be playing with that one. And then the final palette I'm going to play with, um, blame my daughter. Blame my daughter because my daughter phoned me up one day and she said, I've just been out shopping, ma'am, and I've just seen this amazing palette. Um, it's got beautiful colours in it. And I was like, well, which one is it? And she told me, and, she, and I said, did you buy it? She said, no. So I went and I had a look at this palette and I thought, I'm going to treat her to it. If she likes it, I'm going to buy it for her. So I bought it and got it delivered to my house with a few other bits that I picked up in the order from Superdrug and she said oh mum uh, I can't come and collect it for a couple of days but can you swatch it for me so I did and I really liked it so I bought it <laughs> so yeah blame my daughter for this because she told me about this palette I had seen these palettes to be honest I'd seen these palettes and I was kind of put off by this stupid plasticky thing on the front um why they couldn't have made these like the chocolate bar palettes i do not know i prefer them to this this just looks childish to me but the colors inside the colors inside are pretty awesome so yeah i swatched the colors on my daughter's palette for her to see and I fell in love with the colours and so I had to go back and buy my own palette so yes blame my daughter for this my daughter made me buy it uh, so yeah I am so looking forward to this um, it's so pretty it's so gorgeous I just I love the muted dusky roses and the dusky purples and things in here just so stunning um yeah i well just stunning absolutely stunning i think when i swatched this shade here this shade oh there it is oh da, 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 da. just look at that look look at that um so yeah i'm going to be uh playing with this palette this month because i love the colors in it and i want to play i want to play with my new toy um so yes that is the third and final palette that i'm going to be playing with this month so that is it that is everything that i have um been using over the past month and everything that i will be using over the next month although here's going to be a new thing i have noticed especially over the last month because i had so many items in this project because of a couple of rollovers from the previous month i discovered that um because i was so busy using up my three of a kind project items um even though i only had to use everything once it's had a detrimental effect on my use on my project pan items. 
it's also having a detrimental effect on the fact that I only put makeup videos up on my channel on a Monday. I have Makeup Mondays and I have Bookish Fridays. And, not, and most months only have four Mondays in a month. Some have five, but the majority have four. And so I discovered that because I'm doing three other project pans, plus my three of a kind project as well, most months I'm not going to have a chance to do any other type of video. I'm not going to have um, any makeup tutorials going up. I'm not going to have any um, collection videos going up. I'm not going to have any room to do anything else on my channel. It's going to be the same four videos over and over again because that's all I'll have room for. So I have come to the decision, I am not stopping this project, not by any means. I love this project and I'm going to continue to do it. But I am going to make this a bi-monthly update from now on. So instead of having to use these products over one month, I'm going to have two months to use these products. That way then I'm not having to force myself to wear these and... Um, ignore my project pan items. I'm going to be able to spread them out a bit more and take my time a bit more with them. I shouldn't have any rollovers in anymore because giving myself two months to use nine products shouldn't be that difficult. Um, watch me say that and there'll be rollovers next time. Um, <laughs> hopefully there won't be. Um, but it just means that I'm going to give myself a little bit of extra time. Um, the only other option was to move this project over to my Instagram only for updates and um, not doing the updates on video for my channel anymore. Um, and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to continue making the videos for this. So yeah, I'm going to move the updates for this project to bi-monthly, so you will not be seeing an update next month in July. The next time you will see this project is in August. So, I hope you will still stick with this project. Um, as I say, if you haven't already, please do follow me on Instagram. You will see pictures of when I wear these items, um, when I do an eyeshadow look using the palettes or I do my nails using the nails, um, nail polishes. I don't always update when I wear the lipstick unless um, I generally try and use a lipstick with an eyeshadow palette, but you know, that's just, I will try and remember to do when I use the lipstick as well. Um, but yeah, please do follow me on Instagram to see those pictures if you want to see the looks that I create using these products. Um, but I will see you again, as I say, in August with my next update on this. But until then, and I hope I'll see you before that because there's other videos you'll be seeing from me next Monday. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.